What's up guys? Adam here from my Houston area backyard garden. So are you guys growing winter or summer squash for the first time and you're a little confused on how to tell the difference between a female and male flower? Well in this video I'm going to show you how to identify female and male squash flowers and how to hand pollinate them. And we're going to talk about pollination in general. So let's get growing. So a female flower will have a little fruit underneath it. As you see, we have a female flower right here. That's developing. I just saw a bee fly in. And then we have a male flower down over here. So now I'm going to grab a male flower and hand pollinate a female flower. And right here we have the piston where all the pollen is. And we want to bring that into the female flower and make sure we transfer the pollen into the female flower. So I have my male flower right here and we have the female flower up here. So what we're gonna do is get the male flower inside here and we're gonna hand pollinate this. Transfer the pollen into the female flower so it can develop into a squash, pumpkin, or whatever type of fruit that you might be trying to hand pollinate. So why do we have to hand pollinate our squash flowers? Well, it might be because there aren't enough bees in our yard. So how do we attract more bees in our yard so we don't have to hand pollinate? Well, you can get one of these bee houses or they're also called bug hotels. I'll have a link in my description where you can pick one up. If you guys like this hat, I'll have a link to that as well. So where do we want to place our bee house or bug hotel? We want to place our bee house in an area of the yard that's close to the garden, that's above the ground, and is protected from wind. So I'm placing my bee house on the fence right here where the bees will have easy access to my garden. So these bee houses do not attract honeybees and they will not produce honey. They actually attract another type of bee called a solitary bee. Solitary bees do more of the pollination in our garden than honeybees do. About 90% of the bees in our garden are not honeybees. They are solitary bees, so that means they live alone and they do not live in a social colony. So we want to provide some type of habitat for them like this. These are little cocoons where the bee will fly in and nest in so it can lay its eggs. That way the bee has easy access to our garden where it can help pollinate and in return produce more food by pollinating more of our flowers. So as a recap, what we talked about today was how to identify male and female winter and summer squash flowers and how to hand pollinate those flowers. We also talked about how you can attract more bees to your yard so you don't have to do that hand pollination by getting a bee hotel. So if you guys found any value in this video today, please give it a like and subscribe for more gardening videos. Thanks for watching.